Okay, so here's part two of your cutting board laser work. So now sort of right where we left off, um, you're going to uh, size this, the size that you want it. This is for like sort of a basic scan. I'll do a sort of more advanced version later on, but we're gonna do sort of a basic scan. So now wherever you wanna sort of, you can rescale this, uh, however size you want it uh, on your cutting board. So scroll wheel, zoom in, and zoom out. Um, you know, if you want to put a really small design down in the bottom corner, you can. If you want to make your design fill the entire part of the cutting board and center it, if you want to center it, the way to do that is to select both of these. And you can use the alignment tools where I'm moving the mouse right now up here. So you'll see this is center vertical, center horizontal. So now my design is perfectly centered in the um, center of the cutting board. Uh, and so there's a whole bunch of different ways to sort of go about this. Um, you sort of just get to decide where you want to put it and how you want to put it on the cutting board. That sort of makes the most sense since we have this rectangle that shows our cutting board. So I'm going to go to the next steps on, on how uh, sort of to finish this up. And then there'll be a last screencast on getting me this design. So I'm going to take this, this part and I'm going to kind of just shrink it down to the size. I'm just going to put it down in this corner right here. That's sort of where I want it. Okay. So you can see over here that we have two layers. We have a cut layer and a scan layer. Our cut layer is actually our um, our outer ring. So I'm just gonna, because it's black and that can be confusing, I'm just gonna select it. So I just actually click, click the line and I'm just gonna change it red um, just temporarily, just for now, just so I can see the difference between these two and the layers. So this is for a sort of simple scan. A scan is where it removes all the material in between where the black is. And just to give you a sense of what this will look like, if I hit the preview button, basically everything that's going to turn pink, and I'll turn my simulation all the way up, everything that's turning pink is going to be black. That's going to be dark on the cutting board. Okay. And so everything that's pink here, that's going to be sort of the blackness um, that's going to get etched out. X that out. So that's the preview if you want to sort of see what's going to get etched. Um, there's some other ways to do this. I'll show that in a second screencast if you want to do that. Uh, so now I have to set the layers. I'm going to double click on where it says BMP. You want to make sure that your black layer, which is your BMP layer, black, is set to 400 millimeters per second. And then here you get to choose the power. You're going to want to look at the sort of cherry block or the oak block to kind of get a sense of how deep you want that cut. I'm going to leave it at 45%. That's a pretty medium cut uh, depth. And it should say scan there. It should only be able to scan. And that's going to be pretty good. Now I want to go to the red layer. That's our cut layer. And what I'm going to do is I want to make, I'm going to bump this up to 20 millimeters per second. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the power all the way to zero. Okay. The reason being is that I don't actually want to cut this line. I'm just using this line to guide and get my design in the right place on the cutting board that I want it to be. And so I'm going to turn the power to zero. Basically, it's just going to, it's not going to cut anything. It's just help get the design in the right spot. So make sure that that red layer, which is our cut layer, Make sure it says cut, 20 millimeters per second, power zero. You don't have to worry about the second one. You can unclick it. We only have one laser, so it doesn't matter. And then don't enter on the keyboard. Make sure you click OK. So now yours is ready for um, exporting. So you're going to save it again. Make sure you save, 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 save. Uh, yours is all ready. Um, last screencast is on going to be getting this into that um, Google Drive folder so that I have it and I can scan it onto your cutting board. Okay, and I'll do a second screencast on a sort of more advanced version of this if you want to see what that is. That's it.